welcome back everybody. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of the sweet sweet Neverwinter Nights. Uh, where we left off the last time, we had just killed wolves, lots of wolves basically. Uh, we were supposed to turn in this quest. I did not think to do that. Let's go back and talk to Farmer Tom, Jim, Bob, Jones, Pete. Farmer Pete, Pete O'Deal. Greetings. Well, I didn't speak with Silver, or didn't kill Silverback, but I did speak with her. You what? Bah, who am I to argue? I've been known to talk to my cows on occasion. Still, wolves are predators. What makes you think they'll stop? She gave me her word. She'll stick to it. Well, I don't trust her, and I don't trust you either, mister. I reckoned as much. If you'll excuse me, my lord, I got a herd to watch over. Maybe if you weren't such a huge... Greetings. Okay. Um... Well, we'll come back when we have more persuade and then we can finish the quest. Apparently he's not too happy with the way we solved this thing just yet. Which is slightly annoying, but next level maybe we can get another persuade and then we'll try again. And that will be that. So where does this one lead? This is the standing stones. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with those yet. Also, I know what this heart is for that I'm supposed to use. The one from that demon imp that we got. I kind of remember what to do. This is to the charwood. Um, I'm actually going to head back to One Eve's Tower really, really quickly and show you guys uh, what to do with it. It is kind of important. And we should probably have done it earlier, but did not. And so let's go do that really, really quick. Then we'll head to the charwood and it will be good to go. I'm really kind of annoyed that we can't finish that quest now. Luckily we chose the closest area to One Eve's Tower to visit. And we don't need to go across bridges when we can just stroll across a creek. Slash stream. Now. We can go straight in the main door too because we have the ward stone. Don't have to sneak through the cellar again. We're going to go right upstairs and into that back room. Um, now our goal in this tower is to close down a summoning portal. Uh, let's go this way. This way seems to be the more likable way. And we're going to head right into there. And then upstairs, of course. Which, of course, brings us to here. We're going to jump in this portal. That's where we killed one Eve. Go into here. Okay, this should be... Yes, okay. So we're going to go to this brazier. And we're going to put the heart in there. Not the silk gland. Where is that demon heart? And there we go. We closed one Eve's portal. That is what we were supposed to do with that. And our journal was updated, because why not? So we closed One Eve's demon portal. That's pretty heroic of us. Which is not exactly our character type, but... At least we got it done. Back down to the main floor, and we are out of here. We're going to go back and go into the charwood now, I think. I think we're also... Get off of the door. That pathing, though. You gotta remember, though, this game is old. Like, really old. Well, not really old. It's just moderately old. When was Never Returned made? 1999? How old was I when I started playing this? 12 or 13, I think. Or 11, maybe? I don't remember. It was quite a long time ago, though. Maybe I should look it up. I actually have no idea when it was made. Can't remember for the life of me. I am sleepy this morning. I, this is supposed to be my Rome Total War day, but apparently I don't know where my Rome partner went, so hopefully to reschedule for next week. Get some more Rome Total War recording. I still have a few more videos left from the last time I recorded those, so there will still be some more Rome coming. Ingo, you look like a zombie. Oh my god, you have bolts of lightning sitting around? 
Ingo, are you a zombie? Hello. No, you're not. But for a jaunt, are you, mister? Could I ask you some questions, Ingo. I suppose I could answer a few questions for it. I should do it in old voice. I suppose I could do a few questions. No, that sounds stupid. Uh, for you. I'm curious about recent events. Ah, that seems reasonable enough. That cult praying on Neverwinter. Know anything about it? Hmm, a week or so my son said he met some seedy looking fellow heading into the charwood. My son said hello and the man said some rude things. He's good to gone then, I suppose. Anything else stand out about him? Other than the fact that no one travels to the charwood? No, the forest is haunted, so people know generally to steer clear. Alright, goodbye. I'll go into the charwood and I'll deal with it myself. There's a farmhouse. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Your son, is he a werewolf? We should probably go check that. Any werewolves home? It's a very sturdy door for a one bedroom place. Oh, it looked different from the other side. It's just a normal door. Plain wooden door. Okay, okay. Go unlock that shit. Once we get it unlocked, we'll take a quick peek inside. Hello? Hello, Eric. Hi there. Hey, who do you think you are budging into a man's room like that? The door is locked for a reason. Were you jacking it? He was jacking it. Who are you? I'm Eric, Ingo's son. Now that's polite as I'm going to be until you tell me why you broke into my room. Just exploring. An adventurer, are you? Well, go explore someone else, will ya? Whatever your reason for being here, you can turn around and leave unless you have something important you want. Uh, I'm looking for it. Do you know of any? I could use a favor right now, and maybe you're the man who can help. Interested in the details? I don't do favors. I do jobs. You want to pay me for this? Then you should tell me about it. Oh, what? Uh, sure, I can pay you. If you can do it, tell me about it. I might have been told I've been feeling a little down lately. Well, he doesn't know the half of it. Oh, I might have told... Or my pa might have told you that I've been feeling down a bit. He doesn't even know the half of it. Sure, I'm a little heartbroken, but it's that tease, Constance Odile. She knows she has me wrapped around her little finger, so all she does is toy with me. Oh, I'm such a fool. She wanted to see me mom's brooch, so I handed it over to her. Now the witch won't give it back. Forget that stupid heart. If I don't get that brooch back, brooch back, my pa will have my heart in or hide instead. All right, fine. Will you, she farmer's Odile daughter, the one who keeps cattle up by the waterfalls. Whatever it takes to get me ma's brooch back is short of laying a finger on her. Oh, look at me. I still worry for her, even now. Maybe you shouldn't love terrible women. Pro tip, guys. If a girl steals something from you, and it's an heirloom, and you're serious, and you want it back, and she won't give it back, she is not a good person. Just saying. Unless she's using it to convince you to come back and see her more. Then she's still a terrible person, but at least she's a terrible person that might genuinely like you. She just doesn't respect you, so. I mean, deal with that in your own way. Alright, where's this daughter? Is she in the barn? Constance Odile. Why is she... is she changing? Well, hello. Well, handsome stranger in the bedroom of the farmer's daughter. I wonder where such an encounter could lead. Oh, I've seen that many a time on the interwebs. I want to speak with you about Eric's brooch. He told you about that, huh? Well, I tried to get him to leave me alone, but he persisted. I told him there was never going to be a relationship between us, but he wouldn't listen. I was going to give it back to him if he promised to leave me alone, but now I need it. The gold I can get for selling it might help Pa replace the cows killed by the wolves. Be reasonable. Ingo treasures that brooch because it reminds him of his wife. That may be so, but it'll also find, fetch a fine price in Port Last, enough to buy a couple head of cattle to replace those killed by wolves of late. For but a peasant's brooch, you'll have my undying love. All the love in the world won't buy a head of cattle, but you sure are a sweet talker. But I'm the one who used that trick on Eric, remember? Look, 250 gold will buy us a healthy bull. Let us rebuild the herd. If you have that, any pity in you, you'll give me at least that, please. Fine, whatever. It's only 250 bucks. We make that in like 10 seconds in this game. We can make that in the first treasure check we find that has a plus one weapon, so I don't care. I mean, we're sitting on how much money that we haven't spent in a long time? 30 grand. So, 250 bucks isn't bad. We'll go extort Eric for the money. We're not doing this for charity. We're doing it for experience. Experience is the most important um, currency in the game. Uh, 
I'm a little disappointed I'm not playing Rome today. I was looking forward to it. Hmm. Oh well, Never Tonight's is good too. Just, you know, I was kind of looking forward to some strategy. Oh well. It happens. It happens. Alright, Eric, quit jacking it and take your brooch back. Hi there. I have the brooch. How did you ever manage to convince her? Actually, never mind. I probably don't want to know. Now, about that reward you mentioned. Yes, of course. Here you go. 500 gold pieces in exchange for the brooch. She wasn't easy to convince, you know. I think you could spare a little more. Well, I'd rather not think about what lengths she made you go to, alright. I think I've been more than fair enough. Alright, fine. That's good enough, I guess. That is an acceptable amount of money. I got double my money. Did I get some experience? That's more important. Let's check. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. 200 experience, so yes. Good. It was well worth the uh, effort. Considering all we had to do is walk back and forth like twice. Oh, yeah. It's Pathfinder Day today, guys. I. Maybe I should try a web series on like Pathfinder. Because our adventures end in hilarity. Due to the fact that we are all the stupidest players you've ever met. It's stormy in this forest, and those are... Is that a rock or a tree? It's a... It's a tree. It's a rock? It's really hard to tell because... There's some trees. Okay, so it was a rock. What's an allop? What is an allop? What's a shade? They're like ghosts, sort of. So this place is legit haunted. They were right. Well then. Far be it for me to not trust a farmer's wisdom from now on, I guess. They know their stuff. They know their hauntings, apparently. Oh, damn. Ow. Skeleton warriors hit pretty hard. You can't critical him because he's a skeleton. Apparently skeletons do not have vulnerable parts. Slightly unfortunate, but makes sense, I guess. No, no treasures? Alright, next chest. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, a tower shield and an old scroll. Can I rest here? Sweet, sweet resting time. Oh, we got level drain, I think. Alright, hang on. Better idea. Let's just go back to town. Deal with the level drain and then we'll figure out what's going to do with that. I'm going to pause for one second, guys. Sorry about that. I already healed. Had to take a quick two seconds. And now it's time to go back to the haunted forest. It's very haunted. Okay, it's, okay. it's full of ghosts. Actually, it literally is full of ghosts, so... I mean, I wasn't wrong. What is that? Eagle Splendor? One of these videos, I'm just going to clear out my potion mess, because I have a disastrous mess of potions. I don't want the torch. I do want the thieves' tools, however. So we dealt with the skeleton warrior. We got some chests. Let's quick save. Let's just fill out the map. I know there's nothing there, but... Just so the map is nice and filled out. There are spooky sounds around. It's a very maze-like forest with lots of drops. Also, can't be that haunted. Someone built a bridge here. And actually someone had a house there, so... Maybe the haunting is relatively recent? Whoa, I just teleported around. Okay, that was... Weird. Skeleton warrior. Stop that. Okay. Okay, we're good. Tommy. Hey. Get in the fight. Oh, wow, that hurt. Yes, Tommy, you take the hits. I like that. That's a good idea. I already took a big enough hit from that thing. We have about 4,900-ish experience to go for our next level, which is quite... Oh, damn. We'll hide here. Don't worry. No one no will know. Tell me, come fight. Come take the hits. Actually, it's not doing any damage. But if it attacks Tommy, I'd be pretty happy about that too. Come on, go down, skeleton. Nice. Alright, things are coming up us this time. 
let's just fill out the map see if there's anything over on this particular path uh, we're going the wrong way for that though there is more over here look at this you can see something like right there but I don't know how to get to that unless I can just go across that's the wrong way so it's right there doesn't look like there's anything over there actually so maybe that's a part for later or something like that so this forest doesn't seem like it was always haunted though I mean there was a house up there there was a bridge someone built a bridge bridges are not exactly easy things to put up so somebody at least did some work in this place there's more allops though Alips? I don't know how to pronounce that. That looks like a pile of skulls, aka another skeleton warrior. I don't really care if Tommy gets level drained, I just care if I get level drained. Unless Tommy gets level drained to death, in which case that would be kind of annoying. Ooh, a scythe plus one. Oh, god damn it. Oh shit, that's a lot of people. I'm running. See ya. Tommy, you're on your own. Tommy, follow me. I don't want you to... Well, I do kind of want you to die, but I don't want you to die right now, because I need you to soak a pits later on. He's not coming fast enough. Stop using my potions! Either die or don't die. But stop taking the potions. Oh, he's bringing them all with him. Or only two of them. Nope, there's three of them. Right, running away time. That's a lot of skeletons. Let's play the jump in and out game. We're leaving the charwood. We're out. This place is too haunted. You're right. Farmers were right. Okay. Do the fight! Ow. Apparently they can't jump areas, that's neat. But look at that, I almost died in a single round of combat, so that's not exactly ideal. Cheating the system like this isn't exactly the funnest thing either, though. But some of the fights in this game are just unreasonably hard, like they hit like freight trains. And I don't have any full plate or anything like that. Come on, hit him. Hit somebody, I don't care who. Really? You couldn't swing once while you were there? All you did was sidestep the entire time? Super duper. Good job. Weapon master level 2 for sure. There we go. Come on, hit him. There we go. Alright. Now we go back. And we have a quick siesta. That actually worked not too badly. We got a couple three hits in. Once we kill one or two of them, we should be okay, but they do so much damage. Like, they do 20 damage a hit. Now, to do 20 damage a hit with a greatsword is... So, they do 1d12. Right? Yeah, 1d12 damage. So, assuming they are weapon or fighters, that's plus 2 damage, so that's 14. So, that means they have plus 6 to strength. Hit something... Alright. Which means that they have um, 22 strength each. Which is ludicrously high for skeletons. Maybe they have some other abilities that increase their damage as well, but still, I mean, they can do at least 20 damage a hit. And over 20 damage, actually. Let's see. So we took 8. No, that's what we did. What do they do to us? So 21 damage, that means they at least have 24 strength. I almost died immediately upon getting into this map. <laughs> well, that was fun. How can I not rest for after exerting myself? I didn't do anything in the fight. I didn't exert myself. I just got beaten down. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. It's always good times.
Maybe I'll use a bark skin potion. That might make it harder for them to hit me. I know I have several of those around. If I can only remember which one they looked like. These ones. How much armor do they give? I don't remember, but let's try it out. 22, so 3 armor class. Time to die. All right, one dead. Fine, hit that one actually. We're being greedy. Nice. All right, we killed two in that round. And now we rest and lose our bark skin, but there's only one left, so that's pretty good. There we go. So yeah, some of the fights in this game are a little bit unreasonably hard, especially at sort of medium-ish levels. Like lower medium levels, some classes excel. Fighters are usually pretty good. Um, maybe I should have gone sword and board. That would have made it a little bit easier for me to do some of these fights. But the scythe weapon master will be pretty amazing later on in the game. Stop critting me, Jesus. Every fight is crit. Alright. So we won, sort of. I mean, we kind of cheesed it out, but whatever. It wasn't an exploit, it was utilizing game mechanics. Right? That's what I'm thinking. We really, really need better equipment. Should work on that. Get some better protection amulets and stuff like that. Maybe that's what we'll work on next time. So we already got this. Good, we can break this one open. We don't need to go get Tomi yet. Tomi is only useful for his chest opening skills. Ooh, a potion. Nice. After Tomi used all my potions, it's good to have some more. I mean, I suppose he had the right to not die, but at the same time, stop using all my potions, damn it. We're just gonna quickly check over here. I don't think there's anything up here, but it's always good to just make sure. There is nothing. Except another thing island over there. This place has lots of like sheer cliffs. Look at that fall. That's a straight down fall into what appears to be nothing or fog or something. Don't want to fall down there. Might kill you. So there's the Charwood village. We're not going to go there just yet. We're going to finish this map up. There's at least one more Alep and a glowy thing. A glowy pillar. That's never a good sign. Time to die! And a corpse. Also not a good sign. Two corpses around it. So this could be bleak for us. Let's check the corpses first. Those there's the explorer's journal. Let's read that probably before we go touching any pillars. If I were an explorer's journal in my inventory, where would I be? Right there. Though this book has been severely damaged by exposure to the elements, a large parts of it are surprisingly legible. Included in its pages are translations of a runic language used by the ancient Netherese. The remainder seems to be the personal journal of an unnamed explorer who had come to this region determined to find an ancient Netherese temple, which he referred to as the Ruin of Guratal. The last page is of particular interest and reads, I've decided to camp in the forest tonight. Whatever happened in Charwood is something I certainly don't want to get involved in. The villages there are frightened, or are frightening, and will be no help in my search for the temple. It's best I just avoid them entirely. Resting in the forest will not be much better, however. To think I scoffed at the tales I was told of it being haunted. It is so eerily silent, yet I will not be deterred. The secret portal that leads to the ruins of Guratal must be in this area, and I will find it. If I'm right, the treasure that will still be there will make all of these long months worthwhile. So there's a pillar. Let's go touch the pillar. The pillar is weathered with age and covered with moss and small vines. There's no telling how long it has been standing here. A particular interest are the large ruins that seem to cover most of its surface in no language you recognize. With the help of the Explorer's Journal, you identify the ruins as ancient netheries and piece together a rough translation. The ruins have been placed on depressions, three rows of four ruins. Pressing one ruin in each row results in a three-word netheries phrase, the effect of which is unknown. 
Do I wish to press a rune in the first row? Uh, not yet. Let's quick save first. But yes, I do. Boop, boop, boop. Grotal. Actually, we did this wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Nether. Always. Prevail. Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, God. Oh, God. The skeletons, they're, they're raping me. Oh. So that's what happened to the adventurer. Let's try that again. Let's try Emperor. Never. No, that's not it. All right. Let's try Emperor. Always prevail. Nope, that's not it either. Let's see if we can win. Probably not, but we'll try. There's always the chance. The answer is going to be a swift death for us, though. We're not going to bother healing. It's a fight to the death. All right, let's look this thing up because I can't remember what the phrase is. We could just guess it all day, but let's not do that. That sounds like a gigantic waste of time. One second. Let's find this out. All right. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Okay, so we actually do have something that tells us what the thing is. Is it this one? The lands of Nether will one day return, shall rule. Nether shall rule. That's what it is. Whoops. Nether shall rule. And it opens a portal, which destroys the pillar, apparently. Let's have a quick little rest, and then we'll head in. Actually, we're out of time. Unfortunately, we are pretty much out of time. We will go into the pillar, the portal next video. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.